So before I start, I have to tell you my personal story with meditation. I tried it a few times. I have a 14-year-old son. He was sitting here somewhere. He got me an app. I tried it for a week and just left it. And I have a whole lot of these misconceptions, thoughts, ideas about meditation. And when we started talking, Malise, um, I started learning more about uh, your whole journey and how meditation can change people's lives. So this is a personal journey for me as well, where I want to concentrate. I want to be uh, holistically present at places where I want to be. So um, I will get personal with Malis while I will bring my personal stories. And Malis is coming all the way from Phoenix, Arizona. So I was talking to her, I'm asking her, how's the heat in India? She says, you know, I'm coming from a heater place than Phoenix, so you can't beat what happens in Arizona. So she's totally okay with the weather here, and we are here sweating and saying, bohat garmi hai. So welcome, Malis, to India. And thank you so much for joining us here. We are very happy to have you over. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. And Wonderful. it's my pleasure to be with all of you. It's great. The whole day has been fantastic, hasn't it? A lot of great learning. Thank you. Thank you so much. So last 25 years of Merle's journey has been around meditation, health, holistic uh, living. And... Uh, Tell me more about your connect with India, Malise. Yes. So actually, I'm going to start as a teenager. Um, as a teenager, uh, my father was very abusive, mentally, physically, emotionally. So I ran away from home at 16. You don't expect to be on your own at 16. That built a lot of stress, and that stress turned into illness. And in my 20s, doctors began to tell me that I needed to have an operation. And I said, I'm too young. I have to find another way. And so I traveled to India. And I studied with meditation masters. And then I wanted to understand more about the body. So I began to study with holistic therapies from Japan and from other countries. And then I began including science. So as I was putting all of this together, I became so healthy. And so I became an entrepreneur. I made a film in Hollywood that won a major award. I uh, was international director of a nonprofit traveling the world. So I've done a lot of things successfully. And then what happened is the stress came back. So as the stress came back, I suddenly realized there's something I haven't completed. What do I need to understand? And I took that time and I put my focus on putting all of these brilliant teachings together. And I developed a method that gave me such a profound experience of the well-being that we each have inside us and that power that we each have inside us that I began traveling the world, offering it to people for 15 years. And then in today's technology, which we're saying, oh, poo for technology, and I say, yes, for technology because I've touched thousands of people's lives, and now SOS Method can reach millions of people's lives because it's so accessible to just pick up your phone, open an app, and experience peace of mind. Super, I think, uh, yes, in India, perhaps sometimes we don't understand and realize the power which is sitting in Eastern world, but uh, you are able to put it all together and package it beautifully. Uh, let's have the app icon up here. Can we have the presentation up here, please? And if I can have the uh, slide changer. That's money. So this is part of what makes it so different. Because most of you, when you might have learned meditation, it's to go to the temple or to spend 20 minutes. SOS method, you can do it in five minutes. And you will absolutely feel a shift in your state of mind. Actually, it can offer you as much vitality as it can peace of mind. So it's rapid. Your mind doesn't have to be still. How many people have tried meditation and said, I give up, my mind will never be still? Yeah, most people. It's either, I don't have time, my mind can't be still, or it's boring. <laughs> 
And so that's what I looked at, creating a formula that would get past all of that. Okay. So tell us more about this. There is a lot of misconception like you, what you said rightly. Um, what are the myths that we are breaking with meditation? Right. Meditation is a tool, and there are many techniques. Meditation is not the goal. The goal is to be stress-free. It's to have peace of mind. It's to become fully empowered in who you are. I was an extremely troubled person, and as you can see, I'm a lot more courageous today traveling the world. That wasn't who I started out to be at all. So it's something that grows from inside you. And what I love to show people with this app is that there's a variety of meditations. You can do them in the gym. You can do them driving in your car. You can do them just going to sleep. So you can try them in all the variety of ways that's possible because it's about bringing it into your life. Okay, so you are saying uh, I could do it anywhere and your meditation is reinvented. You've packaged yes. it differently. So tell me more. How is it different from other forms of meditation? Well, it's not just meditation. Okay. So there's programs and tools because our mind wants to understand. And believe me, when you're angry, do you think you can meditate? No. Your body wants to get rid of the anger first before you can become still. So the programs help you understand what's going on. Also genetically, some of us have triggers that we get really upset and we don't know why. When you listen to these programs, you understand that some of it could be genetic and it's literally been passed down to you. But it helps you to open up to new ways to change that. So stay on that and maybe a few people would want to understand, let's go to the basic question of what is meditation? What are we trying to do by meditating? Maybe just... Well, in my understanding, because I'm sure as many people as you ask you might find different answers, but meditation for me is how I live my life. It's how I live becoming more empowered every day. It's how I find a stress release when I need it and how I become more productive and creative. Do you know in the middle of the day, doesn't everything get like, what's going on? There's too many things happening. So if I take a five minute break, everything is crystal clear. Who should I reach out to? What should I do next? What is my priority? So that's important as we begin to understand how to make it a part of life, not separate from life. Okay, so integrating into our lives. Uh, sometimes I don't get time in the morning and typically the myth which is attached to meditation is first thing you get up, you meditate. Uh, Forget it. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you do that? <laughs> Anything you think is a rule, forget it. <laughs> Make your own rules. Do it when you feel like it. Do it when you normally have your triple espresso because you don't have vitality. And all of a sudden you feel everything calm down and you feel more vitality again. Do a sleep meditation at night because then you're really moving into higher consciousness as you're going to sleep. You know, so there's a whole variety of ways to include it in your life. Okay. So and you, with your children. Yes. Children love it. Okay. Yes. Tell us more. Well, SOS formula is made with elements of music, words, tones, and white space. So when we hear music, our mind already starts to relax because it likes it. So children automatically, ah. Uh, okay. And then suddenly, everything goes away. And again, even if your mind is talking, you will notice a shift in how you feel. I will tell you a uh, millennial mm -hmm. said she was having a lot of problems studying at school. And the doctors told her, you have to learn to meditate. And she tried so many techniques, and she was about to give up. And then she found SOS. And she said, even initially, in the first minutes, she felt this wave of warmth come over her. And she felt so peaceful, it made her worry that she wouldn't be productive. <laughs> because we're used to going 100 miles an hour, aren't we? But the interesting thing is later she said how she became more productive. And that night when she went to dinner, her mother noticed that her face looked different. Because the minute we start losing stress, it shifts our face. And her brother, who always teased her, it didn't bother her this time. So you can see, even within 24 hours, it began to change behavior. That's, that's fantastic that you're saying. Uh, 
So two things which you are telling me is I could meditate any time of the day. Yes. Uh, I could meditate in office, yes. middle of the day or even at night, the sleep meditation that you're talking about. Right. Second, you're telling me it will be soothing for the children. Yes. It would make a difference for the kids. And the third which you are telling me is you can start seeing the results very quickly. Yes. You now some people longer. Okay. But some people right away. Okay. But many people feel a tingling sensation in their body okay. initially, which I always liked because I spent years meditating wondering if anything happened besides a laundry list okay. <laughs> so. in my brain. You know, so it's nice when you feel a little something happening. Sure. And that's a, a very difficult one. How do I measure the difference? I am something today, I start meditating, and tomorrow or a month later, I see the difference. It is, it's not like an allopathic medicine which is going to show up a results. What should one be looking for? What are the differences that a meditation can do into our lives? Can we play the video? Sure. Is that one minute video? The YouTube video, we can go for that one first, please. This will just give you an example of uh, all ages and every walk of life and how it affects people. So we're all different and we'll be affected differently each time we do it. Sure. So we have that YouTube video, if you can play it, please. Peaceful lifestyle. I've learned to live a more, more peaceful lifestyle. Each week there's been something profound happening. You know, it's so transformative on so many different levels. And I feel like just too much. I have been trying to release my late husband. And I learned how. It's having that power to give you peace in your heart. Release and memory of some old things, but right now I can just, those things are fading away. It makes you tears of joy. <laughs> yes. So that was really amazing, and it, it really unlocked something in me. And since that day, Like, you know, I can fly, you know, I was feeling like I can fly. So, those are some of the benefits that you say. Right. All right. So, Malis, tell me more about your work across the globe. You've been meeting different kinds of people from different countries. Um, are people the same across? The stress levels are the same, be it in Africa or India or any other Eastern country or America? Do people deal with similar kind of issues? Yes, they do. Um, we all have stress. And in today's world, it doesn't go away. And it doesn't matter if you're in the middle of Africa or if you're in Dubai. Everybody has stress. Things are moving more rapidly. We have challenges with our families, with our children. So now we have to find new ways to release that stress that can support us throughout life. Without that, as we've heard today, we've heard so many illnesses that are showing up in people's lives. And they're doubling and tripling what they used to be. So we have to take care of ourselves. And if we can do it that simply, just by a few minutes a day, that's amazing. When I visit my doctor, he thanks me. He says, thank you for showing me how healthy we can be. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's amazing, really. <laughs> Tell us more about these numbers that you have there. Yes, yeah, so what you can see here is with meditation, there's a lot of scientific research behind it. And people meditating get 28% uh, less stress. There's 20% fewer, uh, I can't read it, you can't read it. <laughs> no, okay. with my eyes. I can my but eyes. one thing I know that people also will love in enterprise, 3,000 per employee per year is saved in productivity. So that just tells you for yourself, think how much more productive you can be and more focused. Mm -hmm. And 43% less doctor visits which depending on which country you're in, that's a huge savings sure. for all of us. Sure, so I think uh, that's another challenge which people have. One is to measure the impact internally. If the needle moment happened, do I feel better? And second is, 
are my doctor bills going down? And we just can't find the direct correlation to what exactly you're saying. So you're saying if a corporate uh, opts for this, their medical bills are going to go down. If oh, yes, we have uh, platforms that absolutely show what happens on day to day for people okay. because you're surveyed and you're asked how you feel and things like that. Uh -huh. So it becomes very clear the difference that it yeah. makes. Okay. Yeah. So tell me more case studies, the breakthroughs you had with a few people that you have worked, any miraculous stories that you, you could share? Yes. Um, one woman came who had lost her job and she was an attorney and she was very unhappy and she was a really timid person which is unusual for an attorney <laughs> and as she began doing this all of a sudden she was speaking up wherever she went and there was a dinner party and suddenly a man stood up and began kind of taking over the whole conversation and she found herself standing up and saying thank you so much for sharing but i think a few other people would like to talk now as well and all the women came up and thanked her later and her husband when they got to the car said who are you <laughs> because she began shifting and within another month she actually found another job as an attorney and her dream came true to be in a courtroom and she stood up for her client and she did such a good job that afterwards the man said who are you I think you're my angel <laughs> so we can find more courage in ourselves as we do this as well. So the other myth, uh, which Marlies I see, is you need to have a proper place, an environment where you have this candlelight and some aroma and then essential oils and this music. Uh, so the moment I think of meditation, that's what comes to my head. Right. Versus we are taking the whole new technology into meditation and saying, you know what, you could be anywhere, anytime. Mm -hmm. So what is this whole thing about meditation which is made larger than life and, you know, the environment has to be right and stuff like that? How does one work with an app versus a place to meditate? Do we right. need a place to meditate to begin with? What I will say is, that's why we call it meditation reinvented, because we want to break the rules. And it is breaking the rules. But of course it's wonderful to have a quiet place. And of course it's wonderful to just fully lay down and have candles and all of that. But let's be realistic. Where does life fall apart? Where does it get the toughest? In the office uh, with kids screaming. So if you can just put some headphones in or even play it out loud with the kids, watch what happens. Everybody calms down. Everything begins to shift. And that's what's important today. Something that helps us live our lives the way we want to live our lives. Not that we have to go and live on a mountaintop anymore and thank God for the people who did. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but we're not going to have that more than likely. Okay. So what you're saying is meditation anytime, anywhere. Right. And two In less than five minutes. In less than five minutes. Yeah. It's there on your phone. And you will notice the effect. Yes. Because if you don't notice it immediately, you'll notice the shift in your perception and in your behavior. And the people around you will notice it as well. Okay, that's very interesting. And uh, the more I hear you, the more I feel that I think it's time we should meditate. Let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. Are you guys ready to try some meditation along with her? Great. Yes. So there are two people who are putting the hand up, if you could. <laughs> Lovely. If you're in the room, you're going to try it. <laughs> Lovely. You're just going to listen. Super. And there's nothing to do except allow your mind to say, if it's thinking, that's okay. Because it's going to work anyway. So just relax, listen, and allow. And I invite everyone to turn off your cell phones first so we won't hear a cell phone going off by accident. And then we just can begin. And sure. you, as you listen, you'll be guided as to what to do. Okay, do you want to dim the lights and put some candles and oil? <laughs> we well? can dim the lights, everybody we likes can dim, dim the lights. lights. <laughs> um, is this possible to uh, dim the lights a little? And I have a audio which is for five minutes, if you can just get that up. It's please. five minutes, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah, five yes. minutes it is. And there is no posture, nothing. I could just sit in a relaxed position. That's it. Okay. Find a quiet place 
where you can relax and find that space of calm and strength within. If thoughts arise, just observe them as you would clouds on a windy day. Simply notice them floating by and return to your enjoyment of this moment, the resonance of the music and the gentle movement of your breath as it guides you to that space of calm and strength within. Listen to the resonance of the music and the gentle movement of your breath. felt tingling in their body? Okay. Who felt tingling at the top of the head? Who felt warmth running through the body? Who felt tingling in their hands? So you feel what's so uniquely wonderful with this, it's like the energy of the meditation and that power in you starts talking to you right away. So you don't have to wonder if something's going on, you feel it. Because all this is, is a tool to empower the power in you. You're the one with the power. So this is a great way to keep bringing more and more of that beautiful power within each of us out into the world so we have it to share it with others. Super, on that note, can we have a huge round of applause for Melly? <laughs> so. I must confess, uh, we started our day at 7.30 in the morning and there's, you know, activities which are happening. Uh, I am kind of acting on things, but not into it. Now, it, this five minutes gave me that peace of mind to just take the next piece of the conversations and the program mm. much calmer. Mm. So yes, there is, there is a difference for sure. So thank you for <laughs> bringing in that calmness into us. Yeah. Um, uh, I think we can just show them the app. If you could put my presentation back on, please. And I just want to offer a gift to everyone. Sure. That if you download the app, it's in the Apple Store or okay. in Google. It's SOS Method. Add the method. And if you are sending anything out in a newsletter or whatever, we would love to offer a very special gift to everyone of a month free subscription. Oh. Superb. Thank so. you so much. Can we clap for that one as well? <laughs> so, can I see the icon of the app here? Is it here? Not there. Okay. It just... If you go to the first one anyway, the SOS method. Yeah. This is how just it's Just look for SOS method. Yes. Yeah, and you'll see it in these colors on the app Super. store. Super. Thank you so much, Mamis, <laughs> uh, for coming in and do see us next time when you're here. This conference is going to become larger. 
Great. as we go. So we'll have more to sh chat and share with you next year when you come in on how meditation helps us in our Wonderful. daily lives. Wonderful. Lovely to have you over. Thank you, Thank you so much. much.